name of the chapter is animals habitat and adaptation animals is habitat and adaptation so first we will discuss about what is habitat what is habitat an area or a place where a particular animal naturally lives that is called a habitat an area or a place where a particular animal naturally lives that is called a habitat so uh, we can divide the habitat into different groups first we will discuss about forest what is forest forest is a large area where there where there is thick growth of plants and uh, we can see a different types of animals in it so the animals they are living in forest are specially adapted to live in forest next one is desert what is a desert desert is a dry area where there is scarcity of water so a large variety of animals such as uh, camels uh, snakes etc lives in desert and next one is mountains and polar region what is the specialty of mountains and polar region now the climate in that uh, place is very cold so the animals that are living in mountains and polar regions are uh, their body is covered with thick growth of fur to protect themselves from their from the extreme cold conditions and the animals such as polar bears yak etc lives in mountain region and the next one is oceans ocean is a large area that is the biggest habitat ocean is the biggest habitat so a large variety of animals such as uh, different types of fishes whale etc uh, lives in oceans and the next one is fresh water uh, in fresh water uh, a large variety of animals are living like fishes alligators crocodiles etc and next we will discuss about adaptations so adaptations means how the animals are adjusting with that particular type of habitat the modifications that we can see in the organs of uh, different animals to adjust with that habitat first we will discuss about the adaptations that we can see for movement for movement first one is legs and limbs so the animals that are living on land they have legs and limbs uh, to uh, walk on the ground or for movement the human beings in the case of human beings they have two pair of limbs the four limbs are modified into hands and the back limbs are modified into legs which help them to hold the things and for move and the next one is fins the animals such as fishes they have fins which help them to uh, move in water and the next one is web feet the animals such as frogs uh, with the help of webbed feet they can swim in water and in the case of frogs they have two uh, bad legs strong bad legs uh, which helps them to hop on land to jump from one place to another and next one is wings in the case of birds they have uh, a pair of wings which help them to uh, fly in air and the in such as such as Uh, cockroaches does so also all these have also wings uh, they have also lungs uh, legs which help them to walk on uh, land and in addition to the legs they have wings which help them to fly in air and the next one is scales the animals such as snakes they have uh, no legs no so the scales help them to crawl on the ground their body is covered with the scales 
to help them to crawl on the ground. Okay, next we will discuss about the adaptations for breathing. Uh, the different types of adaptation, the modifications of their organs which help them to breathe. What do you mean by breathing? By taking in of air. So, the first one is nose and legs. Most of the animals which are living on land, like human beings, uh, sheep, etc. have nose and legs which help them to uh, breathe. The next one is gills. In the case of fishes which lives in water, they have gills which help them to uh, breathe. And next one is skin. In the case of, case of earthworms and frogs, they have uh, moist skin. With the help of moist skin, they can breathe. But in the case of frogs, they, have, uh, they can breathe through their moist skin when it is in water and when it is on land. They can use their lungs. So they have uh, lungs as well as moist skin which help them to breathe. And next one is about spiracles. What do you mean by spiracles? Spiracles means the small and tiny holes present in the head of the uh, insects uh, like uh, cockroaches and grasshoppers which help them to breathe. And Next, we will study about the adaptations of body covering. First one is scales. Uh, we can see uh, some in the case of some animals like alligators, uh, fishes, they have scales which helps to cover their body. So the scales help the loss of water from their body uh, to prevent the loss of water from their body and also that protect the animals from the predators. The next one is shells. Uh, in the case of snails and uh, tortoise, tortoise, they have shells uh, that protect their soft and delicate body. Next is about feathers. Birds have feathers that covers their body and that protects their body from uh, rain and which helps them to fly. And they have hollow bones which help them uh, to make their body lightweight. Okay, then they can fly in air. And next is about hair and fur. Some of the animals such as sheep and uh, goats, they have, uh, their body is covered with the Thick growth of hair and fur which protect them from uh, spring, cold and uh, other climatic conditions. And next one is about camouflage. What do you mean by camouflage? Uh, some of the animals can change their skin color to match their surroundings. Like a chameleon, they can change their uh, skin color. That phenomenon is called the camouflage. And next is about thick skin. Uh, some animals uh, such as hippopotamus they have a thick skin to protect their body from uh, predators. So next we will discuss about the adaptations that we can see in eating habits. So based on the eating habits uh, we can divide the animals into herbivores, herbivores and omnivores. First we will discuss about what are the adaptations we can see in the case of herbivores. So herbivores means plant eating animals. So their teeth is specially developed uh, to cut and tear the uh, grass to cut the branches. So they have a tough part of gum in the upper jaw and in the uh, lower jaw they have uh, sharp and pointed teeth to cut grass and eat it. And the bad teeth, they are uh, flat and strong to grind the food. And next is about carnivores. What do you mean by carnivores? Flesh eating animals are called uh, carnivores. Carnivores have a pointed sharp teeth to tear the flesh of other animals. And in the case of omnivores, they can eat both plants as well as uh, 
flesh of other animals. So they have a very developed uh, teeth system uh, to uh, eat both type of food. So next we, next we will study about migration. What do you mean by migration? Migration means some of the animals are moving from a place to another place for that to get enough food, ample food and to uh, in search of food and uh, for favorable places with the ample food. So that mass movement is called a migration and the longest known migratory bird is Arctic duck that covers uh, the longest distance. So this is about the uh, second lesson. Once again we will discuss uh, what we have studied in this lesson. The first one is habitat. The uh, surroundings where a particular animal naturally lives. And different types of habitat. They are forest, desert, mountains and polar region, oceans and seas, fresh water. These are the main habitats. And next is about adaptations. You can see different types of uh, adaptations. First we, will, uh, first we studied about the adaptations for movement. Special organs uh, that helps the animals to move from one place to another. And next is about breathing. And then uh, about body covering and eating habits. So this much we have studied in this lesson. So thank you children.